Hey, we got Drew's views here, and I'm back with a little Car Tuesday, reacting to cartoons on Tuesday. And today I'm back with a little Ben, b -b -b Ben 10, Season 1, Episode 7, which is called Kevin 11. So Episode 7 is Kevin 11. Don't know what, what that means. Oh, I guess, well, Ben 10, Kevin 11. Is there going to be like a, a rival that has that has like 11 aliens they can jump into. It doesn't seem likely, but I don't know. I guess it's possible or, hmm. Last time they, uh, Gwen and Ben got into a little trouble down in the uh, world's biggest whatever city. You know, a town that had all the roadside attractions, also had the giant rubber band ball was, inside it was a, a electricity monster type of thing that that uh, was able to separate and you know cause a plague basically around the town there so there's a little science lessons in the last one of what to do with electricity how to ground it how to uh put it inside something that's not a conductor like glass a little light bulb uh to capture it or you know to take care of it they kind of got a little lesson on not, not, you know, when's a good time to do pranks and when not, kind of. You know, Grandpa seemed like he was more uh, angry at them than he usually gets initially in that one, but then by the end he was just pranking Ben with a little water bucket trick, so I don't know what's going on there, if they're gonna get any, any good lessons or not, but uh, yeah, I'm ready to roll on into this one and see what's up with Kev Alev. Let's go on and do it. Indoor pool, full day spa. Now don't get used to it. It's only so for back one in a night. city. Oh, the new Sumo Slammer video games in there. I'm one of the game pros testing out the system. VIPs only. I know what you're thinking, so no sneaking back in there. Yeah, I'll like get into the little gray matter guy and do it. I bet. But he will. Or the ghost. Ultimate sneak peek. The Just does it immediately. <laughs> Man? Grandpa, you gotta get some discipline going, I'm telling you. And never come back! I wow. told you not to sneak in there. Never even got a chance to take a shower. In a real shower for the first time all summer. Excuse me, I've used it a hundred times for good. Why can't I use it just once for me? It was no big deal. To you. And that's all you care about. No fair. Neither is getting booted from a four-star hotel I already paid for. Fine, take it out of my allowance. Yeah, well, they really kick him out for that. I don't know, but at least uh... you can't always tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Uh -oh. If I was, I. Look, I'm going back to the hotel and see if I can get at least some of my money back. Don't hurry. You'll be fine. Totally not fair. Glad to see you're handling things so maturely. Get back here! Sorry. Oh, next summer, I'm going to sleepaway camp. This thing ain't my tokens. Read the sign, kid. It says, play at your own risk. Here, you owe me one. Whoa, how'd you do that? I got some skills. Is this kid have powers? Is this Kevin? Kevin. Want to play some air hockey? Nah, got a bail. Long time no see. Home to recharge your batteries. Need some help? <laughs> He's gonna need a lot more than you. Going behind the, the arcade machine is the equivalent of Superman or Clark Kent going in the telephone. Who do we get? This guy. Accelerate. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Little early for Halloween, dude, isn't it? Trick or treat. If I had some green hair dye, I could probably get that guy's style going soon enough. You wouldn't get it, and neither would Grandpa. That's the problem. Cool. Hey, want a tour in New York? 
you keep Grandpa waiting any longer, he's going to pop another gasket. Oh, they're in New York. You're on your own. Good. I don't That's understand the way I how this road trip's go going geographically. So, <laughs> they're just by the mountains, like, the last I couple episodes. With it. I'm like an energy sponge. Soak it up, then dish it out when I have to. Or want to. I'll show you where I live. Where's Ben? <laughs> yeah, about that. Getting like a Ninja Turtles vibe from this episode. You live <laughs> here? What about your family? My god. They weren't too thrilled having a freak for a son. But it just means I don't answer to nobody. So why was that gang after you? I kind of trashed their hangout under the 39th Street Bridge. The 39th Street Bridge does not exist. <laughs> It's over, dude. Yes. That's just doing crime now, guys. Get out of here. These punks. Time to rev things up. Get out of this criminal situation. The fly gas, the fly. I guess that would work. Fly out of there. Pick up Kevin. Oh, you reek! Oh, yeah. Talk later. <laughs> that would be pretty fun, I guess. <laughs> Statue of the Liberty. I'm running out of time. I'll lose them in the city. <laughs> Nighttime window promotion. That can't be safe. Uh oh. Going on the ground like the turtles. Dogs. The Jersey side. Yeah. So that watch lets you do that dragonfly thing whenever you want? Uh, so the speed guy at the arcade was you? Uh-huh. You're the man! It has a mind of its own. Give me it. Maybe I can make it work. I can't. It's stuck on my wrist. We could do whatever we want, whenever we want. I mean, totally cash in. Friends. Of all the stunts they probably pulled, saw. This is the worst. Oh, I should really be enjoying this. So why aren't I? I need to recharge. I wonder where Kevin got his powers from in the first place. Does they just have like mutants in this world? Or... Is there gonna be some explanation? Train loaded with cash comes down this track. So when it crashes into the oncoming passenger train, boom, money train. Instant jackpot. I'm not pulling plots from Wesley Snipes movies. No pain, no gain. You can't do this. Sure we can. I just switched the tracks. We shook. We're partners. No, this is going way too far. You don't care about anyone else but yourself. You talking about me? No, I'm talking about me. <laughs> oh, you do not want to make me mad. Time to go full arms. Oh, wrong one. So it is still an issue, I guess. Look back. Or what? You're gonna burn my dinner? Burn all the money Fight up. me. You're the one who's gonna be burned. It seems to look at dangerous moves, though, okay. <laughs> I guess get the... Remember? Oh, wow. Payday. Forget the 
one. Time to get some priceless revenge. There have been reports of fires breaking out all over the tunnels. Grandpa? I know. planning on listening to me none of this would have happened if you just obeyed me from the beginning it's all about trust uh, Kevin we can work this out oh, getting revenge on these cats move it go and stink fly yeah if it works now I uh, turn into four red. arms <laughs> so much for your game looks like you're about to give me some more Ben no you don't have a choice. Nice bear hug. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking all your alien powers. You would be a good guy to practice fighting on. He's like a true friend. Bar. Moving day. Get out. No. I, I give. I give. I'm sorry. Guess I went too wild with power. I don't have anyone else like you to help me. We can still be partners. Is he truly remorseful, or is this a trick? For starters, people will like you. Man. Yep. Oh man, you are so dim. Now carry that watch. You're the one who's dim. I told you I can't. No! Did it take his power? Huh. I'm sorry, Grandpa. For everything. I know you are. You're my grandson, and nothing will ever change that. But my trust is something you'll have to earn back. Alright, I'm glad he's finally getting some they discipline. Was a freak before. Just wait. <laughs> oh, uh, power's not gone, huh? Hmm. All right, so maybe a little to be continued with this new character here, a new villain, human villain. Although he's has non-human style powers. So it wasn't that there's a, a kid that has 11 different power, you know, aliens or powers or whatever. It's just like his could be like the 11th power. Um, although now with what happened with the Omnitrix at the end, because it looked initially like it took away his power, um, which in the first place is what, like he can do, use energy or he was able to turn, start turning into different aliens by touching him when Ben was in them. But now with the very end, end shot there, it looks like he, he had flame in his hands. I don't know, can he get the forearms, arm gone? Like, does he just, did he just pick up more powers there? Interesting. Um, yeah, it was very like Ninja Turtles-y kind of, um, no turtles obviously, but with like kids, teenage punks living, you know, underground down in abandoned New York areas, like not a thing that really happens, but yeah, you know, I was getting a little New York pedantic watching the episode. I lived there for uh, many years and like the 39th Street Bridge, I don't know why they didn't just say that it was clearly based off the 59th Street Bridge. I don't think there's like a, a copyright on that, that you can't eat, use that. I mean, they showed the Statue of Liberty and stuff like that, and kind of like Times Square, so. I don't know why they changed the name of that, but... And then, like, the subway going above ground. It does go above ground at a certain point in Manhattan, but much further north. Like, you're way past uh, the tall buildings. It's more of, like, a Chicago thing, I think, going through, like, going on an elevated... Yeah, the L going uh, on a track between tall buildings like that. 
But anyway, yeah, I don't, like I mentioned, I don't get the geography of this road trip at all. It shouldn't be nowhere near New York at this point. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I was glad overall with this episode that they finally showed Grandpa getting legitimately angry at Ben and like sticking with it, not, you know, even said at the end, you have to earn my trust back. Ben has been too out of control. Somewhat understandable if you get all this power, you know, as a kid, all of a sudden you can kind of do whatever you want with it. And and you're just, you're not with your main parents or family that should be disciplining you, I guess. I was wondering if he does, cause there's a kind of a weird thing with like, you're not my dad. And then grandpa didn't exactly know what to say to that. It had me thinking like, did, we didn't really see Ben's parents ever in the show yet. Um, I don't know, maybe his dad's not around anymore or something or who knows and that's why grandpa felt awkward about that because normally just be like yeah i'm not your dad but i'm your grandpa or whatever i'm in charge of you right now you know i'll tell your dad you know or something but that's not what happened so yeah i'm wondering still don't have a lot of backstory at all on these characters really and even gwen then was like i can't enjoy this because i guess the whole thing of like she likes when ben gets in trouble or something but is realizing now it's not there's like real consequences here. She doesn't want her cousin to be acting this way, um, which m makes complete sense. I would like to see them, yeah, teaming up more together and stuff like that, I guess. But yeah, Ben was like very selfish this time. Obviously they pointed that out. Uh, he realized it himself then. So it's kind of like the fantasy, like the kid fantasy of like, yeah, I'll go away, run away, do whatever I want, and <laughs> break into a warehouse to steal video games. But then when it gets too real, uh, you realize, yeah, I don't want to be like this Kevin guy. Um, and who knows, like Kevin said he got kicked out for being a freak, but maybe it was because he's just a delinquent, you know, or one could breathe the other, but uh, yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm expecting to see that character again in the future. Still expecting the aliens to come back into the mix here. We'll see if they, how the storyline goes of like, Ben earning his grandpa's trust back sort of thing. Um, and we'll see <laughs> where what location they'll be in next. They're gonna be like Vancouver, Canada next. It makes no sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, it was still as pedantic as I was being about it, in my head at least, uh, the New York stuff. It was still, uh, still pretty cool visuals and stuff through the episode. I like the setting, so. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this car Tuesday of Ben 10. Do join me back next time when I do season one, episode eight. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Comment anything like that that you might like to do. And until next time, I'm up out of here. Peace. Uh, game over?